Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make an incredibly delicious soup using two ingredients, cauliflower and onions. complexity of this soup does not rely on the ingredients. Obviously, there's two ingredients. It relies on the technique that is used. For starters, we're going to make an onion cream. Yes, onion cream with no cream. To make our onion cream, we're going to peel off the outer layers of these onions. We're going to coat them in olive oil and we're going to put them in the oven to roast for about 45 minutes. When they're done, the outside will be nice and dark, dark brown, but the inside won't have any color at all. It will be this unctuous, creamy, really, really well-cooked onion. Roasting onions takes all of that fire out of the onion, and it converts those starches into sugars, and it makes it just sweet and totally delicious. We're going to peel off the dark part of the outer onion and we're going to puree our onions in our blender on high for several minutes. We want this creamy, creamy, creamy smooth. While the onions are roasting, we're going to take our cauliflower and we're going to steam it until it's super soft. The beauty of cauliflower is when you cook it really well, you can puree it like you would a cream. All right, before we get started, I have to do a little bit of bragging. Look what I got in the mail. I have possibly the best in-laws ever, um, which makes sense because they raised a really beautiful human being. Get a load of this bulk copper pot, a little tiny stock pot for making soup for two. I love it. Thank you, Louise. So I just opened it up today and I, of course, have to cook in it and break it in and make it mine. So I just wanted to brag on my mother-in-law and what a beautiful little pot this is. I know you guys out there understand this totally, but when you have good tools, it just makes everything way more enjoyable. So I'm going to take the paper off of this onion, but I don't really want to, um, I don't want to chop it in half because we're going to roast them whole. So whatever works for you, just get the brown part off. Now this onion cream is a really genius cooking trick. It came from, I think, Food52, a website that's fantastic that I love. And it's not something to just use for this recipe. This can be used as a cream base for any kind of soup that you want to use. It reduces the calories in the soup and it has like a rich complexity that's really beautiful. I know I'm not a huge fan of cream soups because the cream, it's just, it's heavy and it's thick and it just a lot of times overpowers. You don't get that pure flavor of whatever it is, the asparagus or mushrooms. But this onion cream adds just a little bit of sweetness and it for some reason makes whatever vegetable you're using just delicious. The olive oil just keeps them from burning. We're going to steam our cauliflower. So go ahead and set your pot over high heat and put maybe an inch of water in it. If you have stock, you can certainly use it, but it's definitely not necessary. Add a little bit of salt to your water. I'm not going to use a ton because I'm going to salt this after it's done cooking. I have a truffle salt that is really delicious and I know most of you probably won't have truffle salt, but smoked salt, sea salt, any kind of salt is, is fine in this dish. But if you do have some delicious truffle oil or salt, it's so good with cauliflower. 
When you're steaming vegetables, you want to make sure all of the vegetables are about the same size, just so that they cook evenly. So when you're cutting this little thing up, like these big ones, like this, I'll just cut in half. Then everything gets cooked at the same time and rate. It's been about 15 minutes. My cauliflower is super soft and tender. I went ahead and just turned the heat off and left the lid on for just a few minutes to let it just steam a wee bit more. And while my onions are still cooking, I'm just going to go ahead and cut up some chives for a garnish. If you have chives or parsley, it's delicious. Green onions are wonderful. Uh, I just have an abundance of chives in my garden, so I put them in everything. When your cauliflower is all nice and tender, go ahead and puree it in your blender. When you're pureeing hot liquids, you have to be very careful because the steam builds up and it will explode. Uh, so only fill your blender about half full and you can do it in batches if you need to. It's just a lot safer. So much for filling my blender half full, but whatever. Okay, so there's our cauliflower puree. I don't like my cream soups too thick. Makes me think of gravy. Ooh. So this is our beautiful puree. You don't even need to rinse out your blender for this. We're gonna puree the onions and a little bit of cauliflower in there is fine. Okay, this is what the onions look like when you pull them out of the oven. I told you they'd be really black and kind of gnarly. But we're not going to use this toasty outer part. We're just going to use the inside and it's going to be beautiful and white and all nice and creamy. I went ahead and pulled this one out of the oven um, ahead of time just because it was so small and I didn't want it to overcook. So we're just going to skin these guys. It is best to let these guys cool a little bit, but I've got somewhere I need to be, so... This works good too. All right, the white part into your blender. Okay, our onions are nice and pureed. I did lie to you, I said two ingredients, but I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of acid. This is lemon, maybe like a quarter of a small lemon. You can also add vinegar. It just brings out the flavor a little bit. You don't want it to taste lemony, just a balance. And then a little bit of olive oil, a pinch of salt. My little reindeer, he's so cute. When you make a recipe like this, go ahead and try the onion cream before you add the lemon and the salt, and then try it again after. It's how you train your palate to taste and, and to sense flavors and subtleties, and after a little bit of time, you'll be able to just taste something and know immediately what it needs, whether it needs balance of salt, it needs something a little bit creamy, That is so delicious. Add a little bit more salt. You can stir both of the purees together or you can just pour the cauliflower back into the blender with your onions and mix it that way. 
Now I'm going to season this with a little bit of truffle salt, which is so good. I do love to finish my soups with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It just gives it a little extra richness and it's a really yummy, fresh flavor, especially with these vegetable soups. It's so yummy. It's creamy, it's delicious. It's a really straightforward soup. There's a few minutes of prep but mostly you're just kind of waiting for the onions to roast. It comes together in minutes. I hope you enjoy it. And if you end up making the onion cream, let me know how you use it. I think it's such a fantastic base ingredients for any kind of cream soup. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.